ladies and gentlemen, it is finally here. The home opener is upon us, and whoo, baby, it is going to be a good one. Preseason nationally ranked number 10, the Cortland Red Dragons are taking on a familiar non-league foe here in the Rochester Yellow Jackets. Welcome in here to Holloway Field at SUNY Cortland. My name is Max Barr, and I will be with you today for what should be an absolute belter of a match. Coleman working up the right side, cuts it back. Coleman off the turn as a shot! Out for a corner. Great work there by Coleman. Keeping the ball on his feet. Had the ball on a string there, working off the right wing. Rochester here. Set piece. Bit of a chance here. I believe that's Ponce Ocampo on the ball. Ponce Ocampo. Looks like he didn't get all of that that he wanted, but the ball sent back in. Hits the back of Hipcher. He wasn't ready for it. Hipcher was not ready for it. Just kind of in a bad position. Hipcher is complaining to the ref about something. Very well-rounded. Oh, and that's a fine ball up to Hipcher, but he was off. Hipcher got in behind, but maybe there was a reason why. Blue cut him off sides. And sent up by Lee back to Lapika Tondo. And he's going to hold on to it. Oh, fine ball in. Ponce Ocampo. Oh, and it's a goal. Oh, it's no goal. It's offside. False alarm, false alarm. Got me too. What a ball. I believe that was number 10, Andrew Moglianessi, just on the field. Feeds a nice ball into Ocampo. Ocampo sends it across to Hipsher. I'm not sure if Hipsher needed to tap that in. <laughs> Lee has it in space here. In swinging ball in, looking for Mara. There's Ali near post. Lupika Tondo with a great save, but oh no, he hit his head on the post. Oh no, he's, he's up and walking right now. Seems to be okay. That's a brave save right there, near post. Putting his body on the line. The 6'3 junior from Kenmore, Washington, Santino Lupicatondo. Joins a plethora of D1 transfers out there on the pitch right now for Portland. Shukri from Manhattan as well. Ball whipped in by Joe Anderson. Canning got a head on it, and Melvaney kind of fumbled the catch there. Mara back to Gamos. Gamos going to give it a go. From about 25 out. It had a lot on it, but not much of a test for Lapika Tonda. It's been perfect so far this first half. We're at the three minute mark. Still scoreless here. Oh, Rochester with a chance. Outside the foot opportunity there for Mikey Burke, the freshman from Rochester. Weird angle though, could not get enough on it. I mean, there was only 20 seconds left. That would have been a huge moment to steal the first half in his holding midfield position. Shanks tries to get a ball across, and it's a goal! Oh, it's an amazing goal! 
Oh, what a finish. Ottman Belsign. And the Yellow Jackets strike first. Belsign with the finish there, but it was a it would have been nothing without the service ball in from Charlie Shanks, junior captain. He only had one assist all of last year. Meets his mark already in the first game. Shanks from Litchfield, Connecticut. Went to the Taft School. Low cross in, dummied, and it's another goal! It's back to back! It's back to back! Tony Hipsher! And Rochester has doubled up Cortland just like that. Two nothing Yellow Jackets. Hunsucker brings it down. Hunsucker making a deep run. On the ball is Ali. Everyone's tripping. Schultz finally brings it down. Lee's going to whip it in. It's there for Ali. Ali and Mara were just passing it back and forth. Mara eventually takes the outside the boot shot with his right foot, but couldn't get enough on it. Ball was spinning too much. Lupica Tondo with another save. That's his sixth or seventh save of the game. Play on, says the referee. Ball into Coleman. Mara tackled from behind. Literally, not a soccer tackle. And Cortland is going to have their best chance of the game so far right here. Mara tried to go under the wall, sniffed out by the Rochester defense. Corlin retains possession. Need to get something going here. Under 30 minutes left. Cortland coming off a record-setting season, 18-3-1 last year. Second most wins in school history. Rochester having their way so far here in the second half. What a touch by Hipsher. Hipsher goes far post. He's got another one. Hipsher has a brace. Rochester takes the 3-0 lead on Cortland at the 29-35 mark. They have put up a three-piece here in the second half. They only had three shots all first half. Make that three goals here now with 29-35 remaining. Ball is into the attacking third. Here's Shukri working against a few Rochester defenders. Tries to switch play. Ball's at the foot of Katoni. Katoni up to Coleman. Coleman with a cross. Lupi Katondo. Perfect positioning. Deep thrown into the box here from Williams. Off the half volley. Oh, and we got a ball game. Marco Catone. Fifteen ten left here in the game, and it's 3-1. Ball up the near sideline. Here's Mara. Mara cuts it back inside. Mara to the feet of Shukri. Shukri up to Coleman. Coleman with a touch. Can Coleman get on it? Near opportunity there for the Red Dragons. Schumacher with another huge strike. Was on frame, parried away by Lupika Tondo. Schumacher went high near post. Outside the box, looking for a screamer. Quick corner here, about to be taken. Marco Catoni. Seven thirty left. Out swinging ball comes in, dealt with nicely by Rochester. Here's Hunsucker. Hunsucker gonna have a go. Almost in off the deflection, but hits the roof of the net. 
another corner here. We are under 30 seconds here. I believe this will just about do it here. The Rochester Yellow Jackets out of the UAA are going to start their 2022 campaign off with a win. That's going to make it two straight wins over Cortland for the Yellow Jackets and Chris Apple.